Hello, my little morsels. It's me, Paul McGoblin. I just got home from work. It's late at night. The family's asleep. The house is dark and quiet, so I gotta kind of keep it down. But we need to play some magic duels. Yes, we do. And we're going to do it right now. We're going to do some battle mode, get into some matched play versus some stranger out there in magic duels land. Let's get on with it. Magic duels, matched play. Okay, Morsels, we're going to go with our Brains deck. It's a white-black zombie deck, and why not, right? Let's get into some battle. And there's my opponent not putting too much effort into choosing his avatar or his background. Those are the standard cookie cutter. This is what you're going to get unless you change it, avatar and background. <sighs> All right, 12 to 12. Pull McGoblin versus Azure. Hopefully, Azure has their viewing uh, damaging effects turned off. That would be really nice. We're going to keep this hand. we got plenty of mana, which I like to see. A couple of zombies. <clears throat> we could use some more, but hopefully we'll draw them. It's my opponent's turn. He's going first. <clears throat> Very nice. Oh, hey, look at that. Oketra the True. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just drop a planes down and move on. <clears throat> this deck is littered with low casting cost zombies. I'm really surprised I don't see one in my opening hand. Oh no, he's bringing something out though. Don't like that. I've got no removal. Just got a bunch of land. I'm going to have to tank that damage. Oh no, I'm not. We'll bring out a blinding mummy. But mummy, I can't see. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> what are you doing? It's just a two-one human scout. All right, you gonna attack with that bad boy? Ah, oh, it's becoming a three-two. He is attacking with it. Do I kill my zombie? <clears throat> I think I'm gonna take the points. Skip blocking. Take that damage. We'll get it back. Alright, he's got a 3-2. Uh, whenever it attacks, other creatures get plus 1, plus 0. Oh, I don't like seeing that either. <clears throat> Let's throw down a planes. Can I cast anything? Ooh, there we go. Whenever you cast a creature spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. I love this. This is in the Amaket series. Plus, all my black spells will cost one less to cast. <clears throat> We're going to skip attack. See what we got here. He's going to come with both. Oh, just the one? So why aren't you getting your bone? Oh, he doesn't want to lose his... his captain guy. You know, I'll skip that blocking. Take those two points. I'm on the rise here. I feel it. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Trying to keep it quiet. The rest of the family is asleep. It's really late. I've been working all day. Came home and needed to play some magic. Alright, so far they have not... Oh yeah! There we go. Lifelink. Well, you know what we're gonna do. Should we be an ass right off the bat? <clears throat> I think so. <laughs> I, I, I think so. So we're going to put out that. So whenever he gains life, he's going to lose life instead. Very cool. We're going to skip attack. So, <clears throat> at the beginning of the end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, transform. Well, he's never going to gain. He's never going to gain. Now, he's running on two mana. How's he doing this? All right, we got to kill some stuff. Let's kill him. <clears throat> what you doing? Yeah, you got some special spell. Grumble, grumble. He's doing a lot of damage to me right off the bat. All right, I desperately need something. Desperately, desperately need something. 
and this isn't it. I think I'm going down here, Morsels. They're going to beat me, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll untap ourselves. I gotta get rid of some of his critters. Gotta, gotta, gotta. He's running this madness on two mana. Look at all these weenies he's bringing out. Oh, I will block. You're not coming. He's not coming. More mana, more mana, more mana. I need more mana. All right, not time for Ketra the True yet. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's bring out the Gravedigger because he costs one less mana to cast. And I will bring the Blinding Mummy back from the graveyard. <clears throat> Confirm. Into my hand. Very good. Uh, and then we'll throw him out there as well. Blinding Mummy. Very nice. Skip attack. All right. Swell. We're doing well. Uh-oh, he's got another mana. What is that? All zombies get plus something. Non-token creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance. <clears throat> Not good. All right, we have to kill some of his stuff. So, are you first strike? No. Are you first strike? No. What about you? No. You, no. All right, so uh, we're going to kill off him with him. We're going to kill off him with him. Come on. There we go. Then we're going to kill off him with him. Wait, no, 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 no. Him with him. I'll take his three points of damage because he's going to get three points of damage too. So let's do it. Confirm block. Everybody should die except for his little uh, life, this guy here. Very nice. All right, excellent. Oh, this is nice. <clears throat> We're going to start off with um, the blinding, blinding Mummy. There we go. And then we're going to put down the Sacred Cat. Excellent news. Oh, somehow we may squeak this out. Who are we fighting anyway? Azure, I forgot. Azure. That's a nice name. What you doing, Azure, with your four mana? Three mana? Three mana. Let me see, let me see, let me see. It's a four, three. She can exert it. <clears throat> She's not going to be attacking. That's great news. Awesome. Oh, beauty. We'll take you. Very nice. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Choose a creature to tap. Let's tap that 4-3. Sounds good to me. And now we're going to bring out our Akotra the True. Did I say that right? Let me read it once the card gets down. Oketra the True. We're going to skip attack, please. <clears throat> I think we're doing okay. Just building our horde here. So come on. Bring that life taker I don't think he realizes yet that uh, he's losing life with it. I'm not sure. Why is it still a 2-2? How come it hasn't transformed yet? All right, he's tapped out. <clears throat> making choices. What choices are you making? Ah, uh, she's got a double strike that'll be coming out next turn. That's very nice for her. Are you attacking with anything? Come on, Azure, bring it. No, you're not. You're not going to bring it. Ah, look at that. The Lord of the Accursed. 
We'll bring him out. Bada bing. Choose an artifact or a creature to tap. Let's tap one of those. That one there. Sounds good to me, right? And why not? Get that 4-5 tapped. Alright, can I do... 6 points of damage with her tapped out? She's going to block the 3-6. So that will give me 3... Yeah, I can't. Oh no, she'll block the other 3-3 three, three. but that'll take 2 points of damage because that's likely I can I think we can kill her here yep and she thinks so too she's done the math we're going to continue playing just so we can see it all attack with all <clears throat> confirm attack I can't believe I won this match I really thought <clears throat> that I was going to lose straight from the beginning <clears throat> very nice thanks for the play Azure you did well, but you lost. There's my gold. And since this is my first play of the game, my first game of the night. There we go. We won one of the first two of two games, which I have to cast a red or a black spell. And there is our first win of the day. 30 coins. Awesome. Oh, I thought I was beat. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another Pulmic Goblin episode where I just played a little bit of magic duels it's a lot of fun i love this game if you don't have it yet you really really should we'll see you on the next episode thank you so much please like and subscribe see you on the next episode and most importantly my little morsels stay out of the cooking pot